Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math Olympiad German problem? We are given a functional equations of f of x plus 2 equals x squared plus 7x plus 6. Our goal is to find f of x. But from this given problem, we have a domain which is x plus 2 and we want to find only f of x before I solve it further if you can solve it we can drop it in the comment box so that we share this together if I consider the solution from here from the question we have f of x plus 2 equals x squared plus 7x plus 6. Let's look at this right hand side. It's a quadratic because of the power of 2. There is a middle term here which is 7x and there is a constant term which is 6. We are looking for two methods to solve this. Here we have 7x which is the middle term known as the sum of this quadratic and 6 here is the product of this quadratic. We look for some factors of 6 that if we add together it gives us 6 and if we multiply together it gives us 6 as well. From here, 6 can be 2 multiplied by 3. So if we multiply 2 by 3, we are going to get 6. And also, if you see minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 as well, this gives us 6. And again, let's say we have 6 plus 1. That also gives us 6. Or let's say 6 multiplied by 1, so that gives us 6. Here are the factors of 6. But 2 plus 3 is 5. This is not there. And this also is not there. Minus 2 minus 3, that is minus 5. This is not there as well. We have to go for 6 times 1. 6 times 1 is 6. And 6 plus 1, that gives us 7. So therefore, we go for 6 and 1. So here we have f of... We are going to have f of x plus 3 equals... We are going to create two brackets. And here we have x. This is also x. This is plus. This is plus. Both of these takes plus. And since we have 6 and 1, we have to distribute it as this is 6 and this is 1. If we expand this out, we are going to get x squared plus 7x plus 6. Then, the next thing is we are going to manipulate this. We have the domain here which is x plus 3. And I want to make sure this also looks like x plus 3. So, what we just do is, suppose we manipulate this side as, if you have f of x plus 3 equals, here becomes x plus 3 plus 3. And also, here becomes x plus 3 then we need plus 1 here that is we have to subtract minus 2 from this so after subtraction of minus 2 we replace every single x plus 3 with x and therefore we have f of x equals here becomes x plus 3 and also this becomes x minus 2 this is the follow of f of x but x plus 3, x plus 3 are the two factors of a particular quadratic. So if you expand this out, we have x into bracket of x minus 2 plus 3 into bracket of x minus 2. How I got this is we take x here, we put this in bracket, and we take 3, we also put this in bracket. Upon getting this, we have f of x equals x times x, that is x squared minus x times 2 that is 2x. Then we have plus 3 times x, that is 3x, minus 3 times 2, that is 6. 
as we have x squared plus minus 2x plus 3x that is x then minus 6 so this is for f of x consider this as the first method and we can still solve it in another beautiful method so this is a trick that we all should know let's get into the second method another way of solving this same problem is when we look at this a is a quadratic Let's say we assume a general quadratic formula of, let's say, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Why this method is not advisable to use is because it takes time. Why? We have x here. We are going to be replacing every single x here with x plus 2. Like this, we have f of x plus 2. So this equals a into bracket of x plus 2 squared plus b into bracket of x plus 2 then plus c. So one thing about this is we are going to expand x plus 2 squared. And when we get this, we do the comparisons with x squared plus 2 to get the value of a and get the value of b. Then we take it back into this. So we are not advisable to use this. And here is a simple trick that we can use. In this one, we are going to be applying the substitution method. Just like x plus 2, suppose I replace x plus 2, if I let it to be another letter, says I choose letter n, we are going to have x plus 2 equals n. And uh, we make x the subject by having n minus 2. So having x equals n minus 2, then we are going to take the square of this. By taking the square of this, we have here becomes n minus 2 squared, which is equals n squared minus 4n plus 4. And again, we have n already. So let's try and uh, come back to the questions, which is f of, instead of f of x plus 2, we change that one to f of n equals, instead of x squared, we have been gotten it to be n squared minus 4n plus 4 and also 7n which becomes 7 into bracket of n minus 2 then plus 6. On getting this we have this as n squared minus 4n here is 7n that gives us plus 3n and uh, let's write it first we have minus 4n and here is plus 4 plus we have this as 7n minus 14 and here we have plus 6 so we have this as f of n equals n squared plus 3n minus 4 and this gives us f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 4 See you in the next video.